Hello everyone, my name is William Ross. I'm a shipbuilder here in St. Catharines. And uh, I'd just like to share with you uh, a, an interesting story, if I might. Um, the story begins with uh, basically a, a municipal officer from a neighboring community. He was basically interrogating me about why St. Catharines was, is so significant to the rest of the community in the area. And he said, Mr. William Ross, why is St. Catherine so significant to the rest of us? And I responded to the effect of, well, good towns provide for their residents. Great towns provide for residents beyond their extended reach. St. Catherine's, the place where I live and work and hope to enjoy many more years, is the banking and commercial center of Niagara. It is a transportation hub with produce and merchandise and passengers connecting from place to place and port to port via the Welland Canal and with a daily line of steamers and the Great Western, the Welland and the Southern Canada, Way Canada Railway connect crisscrossing right across the Welland Canal and through our boundaries. St. Catharines is the ship owning and manufacturing center of the province of Ontario. The water power afforded to us by the building of the Welling Canal from the summit at Allenburg down to Port Dalhousie has been known to be the best in the Dominion. And so with a result of mills and factories and machine shops extending the entire distance between the lake and the mountain. Now, this was handed to me before I came in. I'm not exactly sure how to use it. It's not, it's pretty modern. Oh, there we go. But St. Catharines is, now let me continue my answer now that I've figured this out. St. Catharines is not just all about shipbuilding. It is surrounded by the most beautiful countryside, excellent for farming a variety of crops. St. Catharines is an urban center, a meeting place for people from all across the surrounding communities to come and meet and trade goods and news and stories about their lives. It is a meeting place that forms the foundation for a community where people like myself live and work. Upon hearing that answer, my interrogator deferred the debate to me, and rightly so. I'm a very good debater. <clears throat> now I talk a lot about the shipbuilding industry uh, in St. Catharines, mainly because that's how I make my living. I, I am a shipbuilder. I, uh, I'm working on some designs for some tugboats that are going to uh, work on the new Third Welling Canal. But there's much more to this city than, than just shipbuilding, than just ships that are built of steel and, and lumber raised from ground to sky by Mr. Shikluna, another shipbuilder, or um, Mr. Simpson, another shipbuilder, or myself. Sometimes when I stand down by the locks below St. Paul Street, I like to close my eyes and take in the smells and the sounds around me. If you listen closely, you can hear tow horses pulling, some, pulling a barge up the canal towards lock four, the lock tender ready to open the gate. I can smell fresh cut lumber. Just cut at the sawmill this morning and I can hear it being moved to where it will be used by Mr. Shikluna. No doubt building his newest passenger steamer, one that will be not outsailed or outshined by any built in any other city like Kingston or Hamilton. I can hear in the distance Mr. Shikluna and Mr. Simpson arguing, as they do almost every morning, about who was to receive the first of the supplies that morning. 
see who was going to get the, the leg up on building the ship that day. Luckily, I'm not one of their neighbors. No doubt the, some of the lumber that was cut this morning will head right across the canal to McKinley's wheelwork operation. McKinley's has the best and latest machinery. I can hear that steam engine roaring away every time I walk by his factory every morning. And those wheels, I'm told by Mr. George Smith of the carriage factory, are going to head up to his carriage operation at the corner of King and King and James Street, I believe. Yes, King and James Street is where Mr. George Smith's carriage factory is located. Coco. I can smell Coco just drifting down from Ontario Street, where the Dominion Steam coffee and spice mills are located. I sometimes wonder which is the best job in the city. After mine, of course. Is it working at the coffee and spice mills with those great smells? Is it working at the St. Catherine's Brewery? Or is it working at the soda water factory owned by Mr. Uh, Mr. Nelson out on Queenston Street? When I think of all the activity and all the people of this town working together, it is such an exciting thought and such an exciting time to be a part of. It is employers like myself and Mr. Shikluna and Mr. Simpson that help the heart of this city beat. Perhaps that's why Mr. Shikluna, even after 50 years in the shipbuilding industry in this town, never retired. I like to consider myself quite the boat builder. But Mr. Shikluna has been at the business for so long, perhaps he saw his duty in life not to himself, but to his town. The canal provides our citizens with the most exciting opportunity. And I love just standing down here by the locks below St. Paul, because you can see ships carrying cargoes and passengers from all over the Great Lakes, uh, just by our banks. And an experience for residents and passengers alike that cannot be shared by any other community in the Dominion. I sometimes, I sometimes worry what will happen when the new Third Canal is opened and this one becomes less traveled. Then I, I am reminded that communities like ours aren't just about the industry or my shipbuilding manufacturing center. They're about individual people, the individuals who give this place the character that it exudes today, the reason why St. Catharines is so unique. I'm reminded of individuals like the widow the widow who lives up on Queen Street and travels down to the blacksmith shop at Simpson's Shipyard every afternoon to deliver fresh bread to her husband's friends and co-workers. I'm reminded of Mr. Robert McClelland, a tall, tall, bearded man and an excellent instructor who teaches the children at Central School on Church Street quite the character. I'm reminded of my own employees and those of other shipyards, the men who are up and down a pine mast 50 times in one day. Quite the work. Or the members of the Mechanics Institute, a great organization, or even the Temperance Society, and including the St. Patrick's Temperance Society Brass Band marching along, making lots and lots of noise, or music. When I think of they, of all of them, them all, they are the ones who make St. Catharines the place that it is today. They are the ones who make St. Catharines more than just a place to work. It has become a place to be to be a part of something 
larger. And they are the ones who contribute to this town and to the neighboring communities, making all of the land along the Welland Canal successful and prosperous. I expect great challenges in the future for the existing, for the existing canal communities. I expect that industry and manufacturing and business will shift along with the new canal and away from the old root of the old canals. But I know that the people of this town have the drive and the experience and a shared history that will carry us through the unknown and into the future. Thank you.